Hi, Steve here, and in this video I want to talk about uh, how to set up a, an online shop. And we're going to look at what you need in terms of hardware and software and uh, knowledge, uh, the actual steps that are involved, and what you'll need to buy and the approximate costs. But before you go down that route, do you actually need an online store? Now, by online store, we tend to mean uh, a shopping cart and shopping cart functionality. and that tends to be used when you have hundreds uh, of products to sell. Now, if you've only got a small number of products, uh, then you might find like one to ten products, then you'll probably find it easier and better to take the PayPal route and use PayPal Buy Now buttons. Uh, PayPal Buy Now buttons can be added to a standard website, so if you've got a, a website that you just want to add maybe uh, a few products or sell a few services via that website, then PayPal Buy Now buttons are the recommended way, really, and the ideal way to, to do it. They're also very useful if you're thinking of setting up an online shop and just want to test the idea. They're a good way of doing it with a small number of products. Now, if you go for the online store, um, a few things you need to consider is, is it firstly primarily going to be a shop? Uh, what that tends to mean is when you arrive at the home page that you're presented with uh, a product choice, a catalog, or something like that. Uh, is it primarily a, a website blog where you go to the home page and you've got the website or you've got the blog and then sub-pages uh, is the shops where you can sell one or two products so the shop is actually attached so it's not the main focus of the site. You also need to take stock of how technical you are and regardless of your level of ability you will need some to get some basic technical knowledge. Now some solutions are going to be easier than others um, but regardless of what solution you choose uh, if you're going to be managing this site yourself, in other words adding products to it and updating those products, then you'll need some basic knowledge, uh, basic knowledges of HTML and website building and website structure in, in general. The main choice you, you will have in, or the main thing you will have to choose really, should I say, is the shopping cart platform or shopping cart software. Now the two big options here, one is a self-hosted option uh, which is the one I tend to recommend. Uh, for that you'll need your, your own host and your own domain name and then you'll need to add the shopping cart software to it. Uh, usually the shopping cart software is free uh, for small to medium uh, size stores. There's, there's no need to uh, buy shopping cart software. There's very good free software available. And the hosting costs approximately ten dollars a month, so it's, it's it's not very much to actually get uh, an online shop these days. You can also go for an externally hosted solution where you're basically buying the shopping cart functionality as a service um, from a, a dedicated provider, and this tends to be more uh, expensive, around twenty dollars and more per month, uh, depending on on the solution. And again, they tend to come in packages as well, so you can have different different prices for different packages depending on what functionality you want. But this really used to be the the choice for the less technical um, shop owner, because all of the uh, software management was done by the external provider. You did, or you still do, you need to add your own products and update your own products, etc. But you don't need to manage the shopping cart software. Uh, be careful that the, if you go this route, that the external provider lets you use your own domain name. Um, some don't, uh, and I divide those. You really do need your own domain name. I've given a few examples there. One is EKM Power Shop and the other one is Shopify. Now Shopify actually uses WordPress and so you've got a WordPress um, shopping cart solution but externally hosted solution there. Now to finish off I just want to make a, a few recommendations. Uh, first don't go out and just take the plunge into e-commerce and online stores without first understanding the basics of building a website 
and the basic technologies like HTML. You don't need to be an expert in any of this, you just need a, a very basic understanding. A good idea is to start with PayPal and PayPal buy now buttons, so just create a basic website and add one or two PayPal buy now buttons. They'll give you a feel of what you need to, to do. Uh, they're a very good way of getting into e-commerce and I say it might be all you need depending on how many products you're going to be selling. Uh, I'd recommend that you look at using WordPress and with uh, WordPress with an e-commerce plugin as your shop. Now once it's installed and set up, the, the e-commerce plugin, e -commerce plugin is set up, it really is just as easy to do it with the WordPress and e-commerce plugin as it is to do with it with an externally uh, hosted solution and so if you're going down the self-hosted route which I recommend you do I'd recommend you go self-hosted with WordPress and an e-commerce plugin now you can find more information on the on the website there there's also a contact form on there if you have any questions you can always contact me and uh, I'll do my best to help and um, there's the address below uh, www.buildyourwebsite.co.uk e-commerce now if you found the video useful you, uh, don't forget to use the like button below and uh, like it uh, until next time bye